Except for the Great Pyramid of Giza, the oldest lists of the seven wonders of the ancient world were made more than 2,000 years ago by ancient Hellenics. Those marvels are no longer standing, having been destroyed by earthquakes, fires, and, in one case, an enraged mob. Since then, many other lists of remarkable constructions have been created. Welcome to Around the World. Today, we'll be looking at the greatest man-made wonders of the world. Are you a fan of our channel? Be sure to subscribe to Around the World and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Number 30. Lalibela Churches The city of Lalibela in the Ethiopian highlands is home to 11 amazing monolithic cathedrals built by King Lalibela to be the New Jerusalem. Between the 7th and 13th centuries, these were hewn from the top down through the live rock, with an elaborate network of tunnels and corridors connecting them. St. George is perhaps the most stunning of these churches since it is so neatly carved out of the mountainside. The church, which is built in the shape of a Greek cross, rises to a height of 40 feet and has stunning artworks within its evocative interior. Number 29. Leaning Town of Pisa The world-famous Leaning Tower is notable for its amazing four-degree tilt, which gives the impression that the structure is about to fall over. The remarkable slanted bell tower was built in the Romanesque style and rests behind a portion of the cathedral. The tower, which dates back to the 12th century, took 199 years to finish, but began to tilt during construction due to soft ground on one side. Today, the tower, which rises at a height of 55.86 meters, attracts visitors from all over the world. Number 28. Heimji Castle Heimji Castle is often regarded as the best example of Japanese castle architecture, currently in existence. During the feudal period, it was fortified to defend against enemies, but it has been renovated many times throughout the years and reflects various design phases. It has survived World War II bombardment and has appeared in numerous local and foreign films, including the James Bond film You Only Live Twice. The castle's white exterior design gives it the appearance of a bird in flight, earning it the moniker White Egret Castle. Number 27. Meenakshiamon Temple The Meenakshiamon Temple is a beautiful Hindu temple that dates back to the 6th century while the majority of the current construction was constructed 1,000 years later. It is the most prominent temple in Madurai, a South Indian city with a 2,500-year history. The temple includes 14 towers, each devoted to a god or individual, with intricate carvings on the inside and outside. Though the statues on the towers were formerly basic, they have been painted over the years during festivals, resulting in the vibrant colors seen today. Number 26. Sydney Opera House The Sydney Opera House, considered a 20th century architectural marvel, was conceived and built by architect Jorn Utzon to resemble a massive sailing ship. It houses a number of venues that stage about 1,500 performances each year. The historic Opera House in Sydney is one of Australia's most famous buildings, surrounded by the gorgeous surroundings of Sydney Harbour and the Royal Botanical Gardens. Number 25. Leshen Great Buddha The Leshen Giant Buddha is a massive Buddha statue carved into a cliff face in western China. The monument, which began in 1713 under the Tang Dynasty and was completed in 803, took thousands of sculptors and craftsmen to complete. The Leshen Enormous Buddha is highlighted in poetry, song, and folklore as the world's largest carved stone Buddha. The artwork is 233 feet tall with 11-foot-long fingers on each of its massive resting hands. Number 24. Golden Gate Bridge The Golden Gate Bridge is a suspension bridge that connects San Francisco and Marin County to the north across the Golden Gate Strait. The bridge was finished in 1937 after a four-year construction period. When it was built, the Golden Gate Bridge was the world's longest suspension bridge for its span, and it has since become a globally recognized icon of California. 
The bridge's distinctive red-orange color was chosen expressly to make it more apparent through dense fog, which frequently shrouds the bridge. Number 23. St. Basil's Cathedral This twisting church, with its multicolored onion domes, is nestled on Moscow's equally famed Red Square and is arguably Russia's most iconic site. Ivan the Terrible completed St. Basil's Cathedral in 1558. The building is a dazzling lollipop of odd designs that resemble a fun fair and are unlike anything else in Russia. The cathedral is a symbol of Russia because of its unique architectural style and historical links to a victorious fight in Tatarstan. Number 22. Alhambra Alhambra is a palace and castle in Granada, Spain, that was built in 889 on the ruins of Roman defenses. The Islamic Moors governed much of the Iberian Peninsula for almost 1,000 years, with Andalusia being their longest-held province. Today, you may visit the citadel, the fortress's oldest component, climb the watchtower, wander around the magnificent Moorish gardens and courtyards, and marvel at the complex's intricate geometric designs. The setting of Alhambra against the Sierra Nevada adds to its mysterious aura. Number 21. Moe Statues The Moe Statues of Easter Island, Polynesia, are iconic, with the tallest standing over 80 tons. Even if you've never heard of them, you'll undoubtedly know them from a photograph. The Rapa Nui people carved these 800 or more figures from volcanic ash between 400 and 1500 AD, most of which face away from the sea. Each of these massive, monolithic monuments would have taken close to a year to build, most likely using crude bath salt stone tools. Many hypotheses exist as to why they were built, including honoring notable clan ancestors and the thought that it would improve the land. Number 20. Eiffel Tower The unmistakable emblem of Paris, named after Gustave Eiffel, is a sight that must be seen when visiting the French capital. The tower, which was built between 1887 and 1889, was designed to be the grand entry to the World Fair. The tower is 324 meters tall and was the world's tallest man-made structure until 1930 when the Empire State Building surpassed it. Take the lift all the way to the tower's observation deck and marvel at the views of Parisian BLVD and the park pattern below. Number 19. Abu Symbol Abu Symbol is a pair of huge rock temples on the western bank of Lake Nasser that are among Egypt's most spectacular structures. During the reign of Pharaoh Ramses the Great in the 13th century BC, the twin temples were cut out of the mountainside as a lasting monument to himself and his queen Nefertari. In the 1960s, the entire complex was relocated to prevent being inundated during the construction of Lake Nasser, a vast artificial water reservoir built with the construction of the Aswan Dam on the Nile River. Number 18. Ifuga Rice Terraces When visiting the magnificent Ifuga Rice Terraces on the island of Luzon, photographers will want to bring plenty of memory cards. Rice has been grown on terraces that follow the contours of the Cordilleras Mountains for over 2,000 years. The most well-known ones may be found in and around Banoff. They were made without the use of modern tools by the Ifuga ethnic group and are still in use today. Number 17. Neuschwanstein Castle Neuschwanstein Castle, one of the insane King Ludwig II of Bavaria's architectural projects, is a classic fairy tale castle. In reality, Walt Disney's Sleeping Beauty Castle was influenced by the castle drew inspiration and Romanesque restoration style. The castle's construction began in 1869, but Ludwig never got to live in it because he died in 1886 the same year the building was completed. The gorgeous environment of the castle, nestled in South Bavaria among forested mountains and mirror-like lakes, is as impressive as the structure itself. Number 16. Burj Khalifa 
With two viewing decks and a cafe bar on the 122nd floor, the Burj Khalifa is a remarkable achievement of architecture and engineering. At 2,715 feet, the world's tallest skyscraper pierces the sky and was completed six years after excavations began. In as little as three days, up to 13,000 employees worked day and night to install a new floor. Seeing the sights from the top of the world's tallest skyscraper is a must-see experience, and the most popular method to do so is to visit the 124th floor observation deck. Number 15. St. Peter's Basilica The Basilica of St. Peter, the hub of the Catholic world, is a massive structure with an interior height of 400 feet. The space shuttle, with its booster rockets and the Statue of Liberty, could both fit inside. The Basilica is built on the traditional site of Peter's crucifixion and burial. The current structure began construction in 1506 and was finished in 1615. The dome was designed by Michelangelo, while the vast St. Peter's Square was designed by Bernini. Number 14. Borobudur Borobudur in Indonesia is the world's biggest Buddhist temple, made up of a staggering 10 million volcanic stone pieces. It dates back to the 9th century, but fell into disuse until it was rediscovered in the 1800s. It has been restored to its former beauty since then and is especially popular during sunrise. Borobudur is made up of six square platforms with three circular levels on top. From the base of the pyramid, the route to enlightenment leads up via the three levels of Buddhist cosmology, the world of forms and the world of formlessness. Over 2,000 reliefs and 500 Buddhist figurines adorn the walls, each illustrating a Buddhist doctrine. Number 13. Temples of Baalbek Baalbek, formerly known as the Sun City, is home to some of the most spectacular Roman remains in the world. The temples of Bacchus and Jupiter are the two greatest and most impressive of these. The Temple of Jupiter, which was built to be the greatest temple in the Roman Empire, was surrounded by 54 huge granite columns, each standing 21 meters tall. Only six of the Titanic's columns are still intact, but they are magnificent. The Temple of Bacchus, constructed in 150 AD, is the best maintained at the site. Despite the fact that the site has been looted for building materials over the years, Baalbek remains a notable historical monument and one of Lebanon's most popular tourist destinations. Number 12. Acropolis The Acropolis in Athens is a sight to see. A multitude of historic sites dating back to the 5th century BC can be found on this massive hill. The Parthenon, Eretheum, and the Temple of Athena Nike are just a few of the sites that crown the Acropolis. The Parthenon, built at the height of the Athenian Empire in 1447 BC, is a symbol of Greece and impresses with its many columns. The Acropolis is decked out with a globe that can be seen all throughout Athens after dark. Number 11. Chichen Itza Chichen Itza, one of the world's most famous archaeological monuments, was once a bustling city on the Yucatan Peninsula. Mayans built it in 600 AD, but it was abandoned in 1221 when Mayapan became the new capital of the region. The Temple of Kukulkan, a massive stone pyramid with four stairways resembling a compass and 365 steps for each day of the year, is a must-see. It's preferable to go at the spring or fall equinoxes when the sun shines brightly on the pyramid stairwells. The ball court, the wall of skulls, and the sacred cenote, which was previously a site of human sacrifice, are all must-sees. Number 10. Great Wall of China The Great Wall of China, which stretches over 15 Chinese provinces and autonomous territories, is the world's longest man-made structure. It is made up of a number of distinct portions of walls and moats that were built as a defense against invaders during the duration of six Chinese dynasties. 
Some sections of the wall, which are well over 2,000 years old, have fallen into disrepair. Walking the full length of the Great Wall of China would take around 18 months for anybody who wanted to try it. Number 9. Christ the Redeemer The Monument of Cristo Redentor stands with arms outstretched atop the 2,330 ft high peak of Corcovado in Rio de Janeiro, gazing serenely out over the city. The statue's construction began in 1922, amid the height of the Art Deco style. The concrete and soapstone statue is thought to be the world's largest statue of its kind. The majority of people just take a vertical cog train to the summit's base. These letters to the monument had once descended hundreds of steps to reach the peak from there. Elevators and escalators are now accessible to make the journey shorter. Number 8. Machu Picchu Machu Picchu is a spectacular example of Inca culture before the arrival of the Spanish. Machu Picchu, located in the Peruvian Andes, served as a stronghold, a home for the ruler, and a venue for religious events involving human sacrifices to please the gods. Untouched by the Spanish, the site was left abandoned after the conquest, only to be discovered in the early 1900s by an American scholar. The city, which is made of polished stones, is a remarkable example of classical Inca construction. It comes with breathtaking views. Peru's most popular tourist destination is Machu Picchu. Number 7. Hagia Sophia Hagia Sophia was the world's largest cathedral for about 1,000 years and it's still a magnificent structure to see. When Istanbul was renamed Constantinople in 537, Hagia Sophia was established as an Eastern Orthodox Church. It became an urban mosque in 1453 and is now a museum open to people of all religions. The Hagia Sophia's dome is a marvel in and of itself, and the building as a whole is a magnificent example of Byzantine design. With its unique murals and unusual relics, a walk around the building today can help you put together the city's history. Number 6. Statue of Liberty The Statue of Liberty, a gift from France to the U.S., stands on Liberty Island and is one of the world's most famous emblems. In July 1884, the statue was completed in France, and it arrived in New York the following year. From 1886 until the jet age, it was often one of the millions of immigrants' first glimpses of the United States. Visitors can climb Lady Liberty's pedestal for views over Brooklyn and the Gustave Eiffel supporting framework, which reaches an astonishing 305 feet. Number 5. Colosseum The Colosseum, one of the most famous structures ever built, virtually doesn't need an introduction. The massive oval amphitheater, located in the center of Rome, is one of the Roman Empire's greatest architectural successes, standing nearly 2,000 years after it was erected. While its outer wall is made up of three stories of massive arcades, its interior offers spectacular views of the limitless seating sections and subterranean network of tunnels and rooms that used to house the neath the arena floor. Throughout the centuries, the amphitheater, which could hold up to 80,000 spectators, has hosted numerous gladiatorial bouts, animal hunts, and even mock naval wars. Number 4. Petra. Petra, the Rose City, is an ancient desert town fashioned out of pink sandstone cliffs thousands of years ago by nomads. It's hard to believe that this city, nestled between the Red Sea and the Dead Sea in Jordan, ever had lush gardens, opulent buildings, and lively markets. Instead, a walk or camel ride among Petra's ruins will discover hidden tunnels, temples, and tombs. One of the most magnificent landmarks in the old city is the two-story treasury cut into the rock face. The front alone is worth seeing, but the interior with Indiana Jones in a royal tomb is also worth seeing. Number 3. Angkor Wat The most spectacular and greatest of all the Angkor temples in Cambodia is Angkor Wat. The temple's balance, 
composition, and beauty make it one of the world's best structures. It was built around the first half of the 12th century. A massive rectangular reservoir surrounds Angkor Wat, which climbs to a height of 669 feet through a succession of three rectangular terraces to the central shrine and tower. This arrangement is based on the traditional Khmer concept of the Temple Mount, in which the temple represents Mount Meru, the Hindu god's home. Number 2. Taj Mahal The Taj Mahal, located in northern India, is a massive white marble monument erected by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in remembrance of his favorite wife. The Taj Mahal is one of the world's best-preserved tombs and a marvel of Mughal architecture. The monument, dubbed a teardrop on the cheek of eternity, is actually a collection of structures. It also has several other gorgeous buildings, reflecting pools, and huge attractive gardens with flowering trees and bushes in addition to the white domed marble tomb. Number 1. Pyramids of Giza The Pyramids of Giza, arguably the world's most recognized landmark, are located on the outskirts of Cairo, overlooking the unending dunes of the Sahara. The pyramids of Giza were constructed over three generations during the ancient kingdom's fourth dynasty. The enormous pyramid of Khufu is the oldest and most important of the ancient world's seven wonders. The pyramid is 455 feet tall, making it Egypt's largest pyramid, but because it is erected at a higher elevation, adjacent Khafre's pyramid appears to be greater. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other videos for great travel destinations and be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified about our latest videos.